Early this morning, the European Space Agency managed to land a spacecraft on the surface of a comet hundreds of millions of kilometres away. And we have Dr Alan Duffy to talk a little bit more about that. How are you going, Alan? Yeah, good. How's it going? Good, good. Now, how cool is this? How excited are we all today? Very excited. I've been up since 3 a.m. I'm just running on pure adrenaline still. Yeah, this is this is really cool. This is huge. This is as big as when, uh, you know, our parents got to see people walking on the moon. This is the kind of level of difficulty, of challenge and just awesomeness that uh, the European Space Agency has managed to do today. So what are we going to find out from this? What's it going to give us? Most amazing thing about this result is we can actually now measure the water on this comet. These are giant icebergs in space. We can see if that water is the same as the water that's on Earth, because we believe that all the water, at least most of it, in the seas and oceans on Earth were brought down, rained down by these frozen icebergs over the billions of years of our history. So what will that mean? Like if the water on Earth came from comets, does that mean anything for maybe life on other planets? Well, water is one of the main ingredients uh, for life, we believe. Also organic chemicals, so there's, they also possibly came uh, through comets and we're going to test for that too. That means it's probably a lot easier to get the ingredients for life than we believe. You don't just have to have it there on the planet, it can come later on as well, which means that's going to be a win for solar systems around other stars, making it even more likely that life could be out there. Yeah, that would be very, very cool. Thank you so much for being with us, Alan. Get some Thanks sleep. <laughs> Definitely.